Kibbles Jack here, and I'm going to be building the worst dating site ever in startup company, prioritizing profits over my user's experience. I need to name my company. How about Corporate Greed? I need something to make it more official. How about Incorporated? Yeah, Corporate Greed Incorporated. Makes it more investor friendly. Obviously, I'm the CEO, and we'll select this avatar who has the green shirt that's gonna make my eyes pop. I need to select and name my website. You can choose a social media site or a streaming site or a shopping site, but I want a dating site. I'm gonna call it Rhombus Meets, where you can go to meet up with that special someone. I'm gonna select the only Rhombus logo they have. Hi there, nice to meet you. My name is Pam, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, rent an office building. All right, Pam. I'm gonna rent Pam's recommended building. All right, so buying this building finished my first milestone and I got 45,000 green boys for free. Lord seating my CEO gets me another 5K. Man, my job as a CEO is so hard. All right, Pam is now telling me to hire a developer and a designer. These look like some good candidates. Let's see if the well-dressed Danny Foster would like to work for Rhombus Meats. So I get to send an offer of a monthly salary and signing bonus to Danny. Uh, let's see if it'll work for free. Danny Foster was offended by your offer and left the negotiation. How about you, Lida? You take $100 a month? Lyda Miller was offended by your offer and left the negotiation. All right, last one, Christine. How about a generous $1,000 a month? Christine Stevens was offended by your offer and left the negotiation. Seems like nobody wants to work anymore. All right, since none of those worked out, I need to get me some new applicants. Adelaide Dennis, would you like 2K a month? Considering my previous offers, I say you got a good deal. 8,000 a month? I'm offended. I'm gonna leave the negotiation this time. All right, you know what they say, fifth time's the charm. Okay, okay, that seems reasonable, but uh, let's see if we can get him to work for less. We'll accept $5,400, so I also need a designer. Let's place your desk right in front of me so I can see your screen and make this a healthy working environment. Well done hiring your first employee! Skimming, skimming, research a landing page. You got it, Pam. Yeah, I'm not gonna read that. So the gist of it was that I need to add the landing page to Rhombus Meets. However, to build the landing page, you need to use components that my employees make. I'm gonna have you build some of these, and Rosie builds these. And ta-da, the landing page is built. I also found out that your employees have certain demands, like a seven hour workday or a retirement plan. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you those, but I will give them a plan. I'll do that one, sure. Now that I made the landing page, Pam is telling me to spam people's emails to get them to start meeting people on Rhombus Meets. So check out some of the other websites. We have DAMP as the top website. Damp are the guys to beat. I wonder if Moist was ever considered as a name for their website. For the dating apps, we have Desperate Boomers. That's quite blunt. We also have Classy Farmers. See, they aren't desperate like the boomers. This app is for the highest class of farmers, the elite. So moving on, uh, our spam email has actually worked and we are growing. And we get a nice payday for hitting 2,000 users. And now uh, Pam's asking us to add another feature. I'm going to need to hire a uh, researcher to get back some of those research points that I blew on the landing page. I think my uh, desk setup doesn't look right. There we go. It looks much better in the shape of a rhombus. So with the research points gained from the new researcher, we need to select a new feature. And I'm going to go with the worst one, comments. So you can get to our dating site's landing page, but you can't make a profile or upload images. All you can do is make comments on whatever we post on the landing page. At this stage of development, I don't even think we can call it a dating site. So with that implemented, Pam is now telling me to reach a customer satisfaction of 75%. But to do that, the uh, comment functionality requires other components that my people can't produce. I need to research lead developers, hire one, and then get them to start producing the components I need to make the thing to do the thing. 
you know, you get it. You get it. This guy gets it. So we upgraded the comments and reached the 75% satisfaction. That's not good. Looks like our servers are overloading. Yeah, I'm gonna need to research and hire a nerd to fix this. Finally, something I want to hear from you, Pam. She wants me to make some money. Let's research text ads and sales executives. Normally, I would hire people for the lowest possible amount that they are willing to work for. But since sales executives are the people who make me money, I'm going to give him the best possible offer. Now negotiate me a deal. TV is offering $319 per CPM. How about we split the difference and say, ah, uh, $15? I'm no expert, but I think they were insulted. Okay, how about $520? They didn't like that either. Alright, try number two. We offer this. No! How about this? No! This much? No! This? Okay. Now that that is taken care of, Pam wants us to move to a bigger office. I'll pick this one. Yay, more money! I think I'm gonna reward myself for all of my hard work by researching and buying myself a new desk. Look at that rich mahogany desk. So eloquent. Now our goal is to reach 100,000 registered users. Yo, Rhombus Meats is going viral! Looks like people want to meet their soulmate. Yeah, so going viral helped us pass the 100,000 users, so now we need to research a feature max level of 20. To do that, we need a new website framework. But to do that, we need to research a new framework. It's exhausting, just jumping through hoops, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, that was easy, just implementing it worked. Alright Pam, now you want us to rent a server hosting building to house all the servers for the meatheads on Rhombus Meats. Yeah, milestone complete! I'm actually distracted right now because this building is super loud. So now I need to place a uh, server rack or two. Uh, there's different uh, servers I guess, so uh, I'm gonna put one of each and configure it. Hopefully that works. I didn't seem to do it, but I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, I need to unpause the game. You know what? That's my bad. That's on me. All right, Pam, what's the next task? Generate $1 in profit. Oh, I can agree to that. We've been losing money this entire time. Our site has been growing, so all I need to do is renegotiate new contracts as we grow and boom, milestone complete. So I skipped forward a bit because I just grew naturally to complete the next few tasks and now Pam wants me to make 40k a day in income. I'm going to research video ads as they pay more than text ads and have another round of how about this much? No! And that should do it. The next milestone is to reach 10 million users. But I am instead going to focus on making money because that is why I started this dating site in the first place. So I'm going to research and implement a new framework and add back text ads. So I'm hiring a new sales rep and obviously going to give him the best salary possible. Now with video and text ads, I'm making around $2.3 million a month, which is good, but I could have more. That doesn't look good. I think I need more servers. Let's place a few of these down and a few more to make a rhombus. Why, why isn't it working? Seems I have unintentionally made it worse. That's probably it. Seems like the air is pretty spicy in here. And servers don't work with spicy air. They need that nice, cool, mild air. I'm gonna need to cool it down a bit by placing some of these and some more of these. Spice levels have been successfully reduced. All right, now that that distraction is over, time to get back to making some money. I'm going to unlock banner ads, pay a new sales rep a ridiculous amount of money. This much? No! Now I'm making about $3.8 million a month. So I actually found a little exploit, if you will, to make more money quickly. What you're gonna do is make a new website, add a landing page and comment functionality with all my excess components. Then I market it into submission. I let it grow for a bit and then I sell it to the highest bidder. Yeah, I did this a few times. 
I use the proceeds from this to buy out Desperate Boomers and merge its user base with ours at Rhombus Meets. Doing this, Rhombus Meets has shot up to be the fifth largest dating site. So I let some time pass and built up some funds. I bought a new office. Let me give you the tour. On the first floor, we have my masterpiece. I call it God's Rhombus, as it houses my workforce inside a design of divine beauty. With me, the CEO at the center, with a new desk, I might add, this piece represents to me the duality of man. Yeah, on the second floor we have the overflow employees. I kind of threw them here because I had nowhere else to put them. So yeah, that's the second floor, woo. And finally, the third floor houses my sales executives. Each of these guys makes me millions of dollars. They get a private office on the top floor because of that. Thus far, I haven't really made Rhombus Meets that bad of a site. I mean, it's just a landing page that you can comment on. So uh, what will make it worse, I wonder? I'm gonna add a subscription service to the comments on the site and I'm gonna charge you $20 to use it. So now when you go to the landing page, you have to pay $20 to make a comment on it. Yeah, that appears to be a little too much as I'm losing users now. How about uh, $10? We're growing again. And look, they hate it. Aww. But they don't hate it enough to leave. They kind of just stick around and tolerate it, but they still hate it. So now the dating site is a landing page that you have to pay $10 to comment on, all while you're being bombarded with text and banner and video ads. It's a great site. Now that I have perfected the worst dating site, I'm gonna start buying out the competition so that Rhombus Meets will be the only dating site option you have. First, I will start with Classy Farmers. Remember these guys? These are the type of people I want on my site. They're the classy individuals, the clientele we would like to serve. I merged with a few more and now I'm number two for dating sites. I'm gunning for you, great Cupid. I'd like to also mention that I am making almost $1 billion a month at this point, so my sales execs are doing a great job and no one else, no devs, no designers, they're all useless. It's kind of a waiting game from here on out. Uh, I have to wait around for a couple billy to buy out Great Cupid. So I waited around for like 200 more days before my site became the number one dating site. And uh, around this point, I finally have enough money to buy out my largest competitor, Great Cupid. And after this merge, Rhombus Meets has become not only the number one dating site in the world, but the number one site overall. Yeah, so Rhombus Meets has grown to dominate despite only being a landing page and a subscription commenting service uh, that also throws as many ads at you as possible. This reminds me of the time I manifested my hatred of trains to construct a railway empire that didn't use trains. Look, those three arrows are pointing to that video. 